this uh, all come together for you? Yeah, it happened, uh, well, what's today, Saturday? Yeah. It happened on Thursday, and, you know, I had to get a day to get ready to come down here. So uh, I'm excited. It was a long off season, and uh, happy I found a home. What was kind of going through your head as you go through spring training unsigned and you know, not knowing where, where you'll be? It was kind of a weird feeling. You know, we had COVID in the past. We go home, and then we had the lockout. So it was kind of a weird feeling, even though this was a normal year. And then, uh, you know, I, I was still unsigned. So it was kind of weird. But uh, just tried to stay in shape and continue in my throwing progression and uh, so I wouldn't be too far behind. You've uh, pitched for Buck before. How much do you think that helps? Yeah, absolutely. That was one of the factors coming into this is knowing some of the guys that are here, Jeremy, Dom, Chidi, uh, yeah, some players here that I know too. So that was one of the comfortable factors, I think, of coming here. You knew you, Jeremy and... How do you know Jeremy? Well, we basically live like 20 minutes from each other, so we kind of just know each other in the off season. That makes sense. Yeah. What have they told you just in terms of what your role is going to be here now? Yeah, I'm going to stay down here and get ready, get built up to a certain pitch count. We haven't nailed that down yet exactly how many pitches that'll be, but I just got to face some hitters and get some guys in the box and see how the stuff plays out. What, have they, what do they tell you about what sort of opportunity they might have for you? They haven't told me a lot yet. I just got to get myself ready. You know, I'm way behind as far as these guys have been here for five, six weeks now. So uh, I got to get going and face hitters, I think, to uh, to be able to go pitch somewhere. It sounds like they want you to stretch out as a starter. Is that kind of... I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay. I know it's going to be more than two or three innings. Uh, okay. So we'll see after after I get to that point. You were just like throwing it home to a college kid or something like that? Or? Uh, it wasn't always college kids either. <laughs> so they made the force teamer feel good. So, uh, just getting the ups, I think, is a big thing too. Uh, now I can get the intensity with facing these guys. So uh, I was able to get to two or three ups multiple times, a lot of times this offseason. So I think that was important. How well do you know Billy from your time at Anaheim? Yeah, I was only there, for, only with him there for a year, but uh, I enjoyed every minute of it, uh, even though that was the COVID season, I think. Yeah, uh, it was a short season, obviously, but uh, I enjoyed it. You had a very, very good season in that COVID year, as I recall. Really yeah. good numbers. What does it take to get back to that same version? I think it's just controlling the counts, you know. I mean, everybody knows the velocity's down, so... Uh, for me, I got to be able to throw off speed pitches behind in the counts and to get back into counts and stuff like that. And control the strike zone, or control the strike zone, I think is important for me. Where, where has your velo been just throwing at home? I don't really know yet. I haven't veloed myself in a while, okay. so we're going to find out here this upcoming week, I think. What would you like it to be at right now? Well, I got to be at least above 88, right? 88, 90 <laughs> I mean, to get these guys out up here. So. Uh, it's a strong division, too, so uh, it should be a fun and exciting year.